Hey guys, Chelsea Holmeyer here. Uh, I just wanted to show you a quick video of staining and glazing some of these uh, immediate dentures that we made. They are made out of Denka Original Pink Face. There's them printed with the supports on them. I do like to leave the supports on the base itself. Uh, we're going to be turning it into that beautiful guy. Um, so first thing you need to know is I use the Opti Glaze Kit. Um, which is great for all 3D prints. We use mainly just a few colors, but I do love having them all available. For this patient, I did very, very minimal, uh, but I did want to show everyone how to do an all-over glaze. We just buy the bigger bottle in bulk of the Opti Glaze. Really great. Make sure you shake it all the way. And this is a little sped up. And the key when glazing these dentures is when you're on the base, making sure that you are getting a good thick coat on the base to give it that full, nice, all over shine. You don't want any bubbles or separation. You also don't want a lot on the teeth. If you get too much of that glaze in the embrasures of the teeth, it kind of starts to make the teeth look very flat and more like denture teeth. We want lots of anatomy left in the teeth. Um, rather than a washed out all over super shiny look. So a decent coat on the denture base, but a little bit thinner coat on the teeth, in my personal opinion. Because um, I definitely, in the earlier days, put out my fair share of too much glaze on the teeth. And you could just tell it was just overdone. And I learned that lesson the hard way. If you do want to put any extra stain on the teeth, this is kind of the very basic stain chart that I use. Um, I usually will do chroma down in A1, so add some A1 on the gingival half, add a little blue on the incisals for translucency, super diluted pink orange all over to just bring down the chroma a tiny bit, um, and then just some olive in between the teeth because that creates that little separation. Super thin line of olive, nothing heavy, but we just don't want to give it that all over washed out look and a little bit of separation in the teeth. Some colorization all over and a little bit of blue on the incisals really makes them look that much more real and less like those fake denture teeth. Uh, and then I'm just going to finish up in this video. You'll see me really quickly go over and paint a pretty thick amount. Um, I like to use a black silicone mat for uh, lots of reasons. Black that black matte color is great to take pictures of when I'm posting. It doesn't mess with your eyes when you're trying to match a shade, so it's always good to have a contrast up against it. You don't want like white or lavender or blue, nothing like that, because it will throw off your eyes. You need some good lighting, um, and you need to know what's gonna, going to affect your vision and your eyes uh, to see the truest colors. So a nice thick coat all over again, and then a thin coat all over the teeth. Um, I like going all out and putting lots of characterization in these, but this patient in particular just wanted something very simple. So we did just that. We put a little bit of olive in between the teeth, a teensy bit of blue on the incisal, and then just a clear glaze all over. And the patient was really happy with these. Um, they might not be her final depending on how much she changes while she is healing because they were immediate dentures. But we were very pleased with these. Uh, they took just a couple hours worth of work uh, with really great results. We loved being able to do it in-house. If anything happens, we can reprint it. Um, you know, if the patient breaks it or if we need to reline it, we can even remake it from some of, merge some of the scans. But I think you can see there, they do turn out really beautiful, give it a nice high shine. It's not exactly the same as the acrylic dentures that we're used to, uh, but it is a really great option for those who do it, and we just love them in our office.